Once I'm going to podcast now, PS Edition. I am Alex, and this video I want to talk about if a Crash Bandicoot 4 remaster is in development. So that's the rumor. That's what's going around uh, the internet as of yesterday. Industry leaker, the gaming revolution, has claimed that a remaster of Crash Bandicoot 4, The Wrath of Cortex, is currently in the works at Activision. Now, this is the same person, uh, and he also claims that a Crash PvP title is currently in the timeline or in the pipeline. Now that. I mean, I, I, that could honestly, for me, that would be my main focus. Player versus player title, to me, kind of screams Crash Bash, but like in an online way. Or at least a Crash Bash kind of oriented, like it would feel like it, or maybe like a, a spiritual successor. I feel like that's what that's hinting at. I honestly feel like that's the biggest part of this. Um, and this is also the same person that rumored Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remaster, which actually we're going to have a video on that tomorrow. Tony Hawk Pro Skater remastered. Plus, of course, this year's Call of Duty game, which is codenamed Zeus. Furthermore, Crash Bandicoot 4 Remastered is set to be publishing is, is Activision's, basically, next major title. So we presume that it will launch at some point this year, no release date. Uh, so, that, I mean, that's the news. I don't know about that. I don't know if it has to release this year. I guess that is something that totally could happen. Um, they've been, you know, pretty limited on that they're only going to release games in June. These Crash games have been releasing in June for the past, for the last two, the only two, uh, I should say, in a very, very long time. More Crash is exciting. It always will be. It always has been. I played all the Crash games. Wrath of Cortex is not the one that I would have jumped to to say to get a remaster or a remake. What's what's weirder about all this is there's so many Crash news stories or rumors going on at the same time that it is difficult to decide if you believe one versus the other because we have this there, there i guess there was never any rumor although again that pvp title sounds like crash bash to me i'm gonna keep saying it i've always said it on this channel on podcast now i'm gonna keep saying it i want a crash bash remake that's the one i would want next um that's what that sounds like but there was never any like official rumors or leaks saying that crash bash would be next uh but there has been talks that would they go remake another remake or would they go go brand new game and there has been a lot of talk that there would be a brand new game so this does kind of throw a couple things into whack right like what exactly is going on because the pvp game is that a brand new crash game that again like maybe it is like that crash bandicoot worlds kind of thing that was thrown around where maybe it's just a lot of different feels a lot of different like gameplay variations of all of these different games all put into one could it be that and like the pvp is like a way of doing that sure that could absolutely be it um is it a crash bash remake are they just are they going to continue to just do remakes possible i don't love that i think they do eventually need to introduce a brand new crash game and hopefully again that's the second one um but pretty interesting that you would do this a year after team racing a lot of people, including myself, I mean, I guess when Team Racing first came out, my first thought was that they probably, I wanted another remake. I thought that Crash Bash would be the one, but I did say that I do feel like it's time to do a new game. Honestly, after the Insane Trilogy, I, pr I felt like it was probably a good time to do a brand new game as well because you've got the market, you've got people that like these games, you've got people that are respecting them again, that are playing them again, that are absolutely loving them. You have a whole new generation, and and so you have them. Like, they're in your pocket now. Make a brand new game. Show us that, like, again, you have to be very talented to make video games. You have to be very talented to remake a video game. I'm not saying they're less talented than anybody, but they're – don't you want to make a brand new game? Don't you want? And again, I know there's a lot of different studios in play here. They're not all the same ones. But like, don't you want to have your like name put on like, hey, I made a brand new Crash game. Not. And again, there is probably a lot of uh, internal like you feel good about yourself. Say, so, hey, I'm the one who remade a Crash game that made it maybe even better than it, it ever was. Right? There's a lot to that as well. Um, but I just feel like eventually we should get a brand new Crash game. So while I'm excited, while a Crash 4 remake sounds good, while a PvP game sounds good, whether it's a Crash Bash or something else sounds good, I think we're in this point where it's like, well, I'll take them. And if you can do a Crash game every year and you do a Crash remake this if you if you did Crash 4 remake this year and then you did a brand new Crash game next year, fine. Okay, if that's the plan you're going to follow, that is totally fine. But if we're going to continue to just stick by remakes, I don't know, I kind of feel like that defeats the purpose because I've always said remakes are pulse tests. Remakes are to see if people still like the franchise. And the goal of a remake, I think for any game, should be to see if we can continue 
continue the franchise later. I guess there's some exceptions, most notably Shadow of the Colossus. I don't know if you would ever make a second game to it, although I guess you probably could. But that's the only one I can really think of that it's like, well, that's just making a game that was very much loved. And I guess there is that, right? You could say the same thing with remasters. I guess there is a part of it where it's like, well, let's bring it up to current gen. Let's bring it up to current time period in the world and let's peop let's allow people to play it now better than ever before. I guess there is that. But if especially if you're doing it on games that have legacies, that have more than one title in them that you know you can continue to make, they sh uh, so I guess Shadow Classes is an exemption because it's one game. It's not like we've had more. But Crash, there's like a thousand Crash games. So it's like you keep remaking them. The point should probably be, well, if you made a thousand of them in the past, why can't you continue to make new games now? And so a game like that, if they ever did like Sly remakes, the, I would hope the point, or Spyro, I hope the point would be see if they sell and then make a brand new game because it's a franchise. It's something that you've already made brand new games in, so just continue it. That's what I've always thought remakes should have been or should be, and especially for a game like Crash or a franchise like Crash, I think that that has been the plan. I don't doubt that that is the plan. It's just a little weird that we keep getting these remake uh, I, like rumors, and, but at the same time, we've gotten rumors for brand new games. Can both be worked on at the same time? Absolutely. Are both probably worked on right now at the same time? Yeah, I think so. I think there probably is another remake of a Crash game. I've always said Crash Bash, but it could be Crash 4, uh, and at the same time, different studio, they're making a brand new Crash game. Ultimately, it's kind of the best case scenario for fans because you continue to get uh, remade games, but just better and then you also hopefully eventually get a brand new crash game so it definitely is a very good time to be around if you guys are into crash so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think uh would you want a crash 4 re remake would you prefer crash bash would you want a brand new crash game how do you think they're handling crash in general over there at activision let me know make sure you guys subscribe to this youtube channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up and i do a brand new video on this channel every single day so i hope to see you guys on tomorrow's video